Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we will show you a place in Penang Island my friends brought me to. It was absolutely amazing. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Stay tuned. Good morning. Still very early now. It's about 6.15 a.m. I'm walking to my car to get a better slipper for hiking. I did not bring any sports shoes. Then uh, I'll be waiting for my friend to pick me up from here. Good morning, bro. It's about 30 minutes drive from the city of Georgetown. Hello. Hello. And it was still dawn when we arrived. Hikers started to gather at the foothill and without further delay, we started our hike without warming up. By the way, I was the only one with sneakers among all people. Kinda embarrassing man. Please do visit their website. They offer different types of air conditions room for stay that comes with breakfast. I doubt you will need the air conditions at this place, especially at night. It was before 7 a.m. in the morning. The earlier one starts, the quieter, less human noise, and more natural orchestra to hear. The weather was great, breeze was cold, and we were surrounded by the sounds of the jungle. Mainly are the chirping birds and the crickets and the rustling wind through the leaves. The trail is quite short, not very high. It's pretty relaxed here. Now the sun has already risen. This place is suitable to all range of hikers, including children, since the hill road is concrete paved with gradual incline. Most of the Penang guides take it as a vigorous weekend walk here. Enjoying the sunrise while walking uphill was simply amazing. So now I need a moment to communicate with the nature. It is absolutely a great place for self-meditation and rejuvenation if you are able to find a spot without much people. A relaxing walk to the Buddhist temple at the top of the hill will only take about 40 to 45 minutes. So we took it really easy for the hike. This temple is called Xuan Wugong, Yuan Tian Shang Ti, and we were just walking around before we head back down. The temple was off for entry or visit. There are a big bell drum and a wooden incense burner inside that has an age of about 100 year old. Despite nothing much to do, we were never bored as long as the natural orchestra concert does not stop. <laughs> When the hunger began to call, we headed down to a cafe on the same hill. It was so crowded and we barely could find an empty table for sitting. The outside terrace seats are obviously favorable one with the natural lights, all the greens, the flowers, and the fish pond with koi fishes underneath. This cafe design is very much Chinese based traditional concept and the decorations are classic and rustic. For a second it did make me feel like the 60th centuries. It can easily accommodate more than 100 customers at a time. Due to many customers and social distancing practice, we started to queue from the outside when we got seats to spend our breakfast. The foods are decent, mostly Chinese style foods you can find anywhere in Penang. The key credit of this place will have to be their location, old school interior and the natural landscape exterior design which I am sure many will love spending time there. One can also choose to sit outside the cafe at the shaded stations. We were told that they can deliver the food and beverages too. We did not know how true was that. 
but you can always check up on ordering your foods with the cashier. This place is really well maintained to my opinion and I love the landscape honestly. It is highly recommended if you are looking for an escape from the busy city for calmness and stress release. Nature is the best free of charge life balance provider. If you are a nature lover like us, you definitely do not want to miss out this place if you are traveling to Penang. And half day time of visit is good with local Penang style breakfast at the Hilltop Cafe. If you would like to find out more information about this place, please check the description box below for the exact location and the website. We wish you a great time at this place. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button below as we will continue to bring more traveling and DIY videos to our followers. See you in the next video. Bye bye.